Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is John Vine. What we're gonna be doing today is looking at Code Gym. This is another resource that you guys uh, have mentioned in my YouTube videos recently, and I thought I would do a review about it. What I've heard about Code Gym is that it's pretty awesome. I'm not sure if it's free or not, and I really don't have too many details about it, so we'll figure it out together. So guys, if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. It's free for you guys, and it means so much to me. Around 90% of you guys right now are not actually subscribed that watch my videos, so I would really appreciate it. So guys, Code Gym, let's see. So it looks like it's just made for learning Java um, which which I mean start coding from scratch which is good I always say that like you know you really want to start coding ASAP 80% um, practice tons of good books blah 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 you need to write a lot of code yeah agreed nice learning Java by solving 1200 tasks cool top-notch 500 hours of practice they have a ton of users so yeah let's start all right so i made an account uh it looks like java for beginners i look like i'm an alien on a spaceship it looks like it, it, it tells a story and then it uses that to teach you like basic commands like system.out.println which is basically console.log yeah it teaches you about classes so it looks like the course is basically a story and then like you go through and there's basically just um the different instructions and it teaches you by by telling you a story so that's pretty cool what is this? You don't think that that's a try yet, so let me give it a try. Cool, so then it looks like in the middle of the, of the lessons, you can actually code and like test out your solutions. So that's really sweet. I actually really like this. This seems pretty, pretty great. I do, I really like, I really like when there's a mix of, you know, t teaching you the concepts, showing you the different concepts. Like here, they're showing you the syntax and then they have, you know, code where you can actually get instant feedback to see if you understand the concept, you just type it in and you know, you get it. If you don't understand, you can reread it and then try it again. So I really like this kind of strategy and I think it's pretty cool. So then it moves on to variables, data types, and it, it keeps going. And I really like this example, like here it looks like it uses everyday objects to explain different topics. I think that's really good, a great thing. A really hard thing to do is explain technical concepts to people that don't really have any experience coding or really just don't know how these, this thing kind of works. So if you're able to do that, which is what this is doing to complete beginners, that's a really that's a really great thing. So it really does look pretty sweet. So it's teaching you about the different types, strings, like integers, decimals, all this stuff. And then you go through several different tasks. Guys, um, I'm blown away actually. This is really, really cool. I think this is my I think this might be one of the best websites I've I've seen so far, I'm not gonna lie. So let's move on to the tasks. Okay, so the tasks are just those little questions that you um, encounter as you're going through the course as you're going through that story we were going through before it looks like those tasks are the tasks here are just those so incomplete tasks the thing is I'm pretty sure yeah so you can so you can look at all the tasks but just I don't think you can actually do them you have that you have to like reach that part of the story for someone who's like intermediate I guess that wouldn't be kind of beneficial they're gonna be going through a lot of stuff that they already know I, I would imagine but for a complete beginner, then I feel like, you know, it, it, it would be uh, very, very awesome. And, you know, these are all rated very highly. Um, I, I think it's a fun idea of like the storytelling that mixes in uh, con like programming concepts and then the, that, the instant feedback that you can get by actually coding. So I do think this is very, very impressive. It looks like there is a subscription option since I have no subscription, but we'll check all this stuff out later. Let's move on here, games. Another thing I just want to mention real quick is that everywhere there looks like to be a lot of comments and they're pretty recent as well. So it seems like there's a very cool, like a very active community, which is a great thing to see because that leads me to believe that, you know, there's a place where you can ask questions and kind of get answers if you're confused or if you're stuck somewhere. So that's pretty sweet, you know, 100 comments. That, that, that's uh, like an indication that it's a good resource is when they have an active community. So this says a lot. So let's see if I want to write my own solution. Okay, so it opens up, it opens up this and you can literally implement this whole mind picker game right here, right now. This is so, like look, it, it even has, it even has like all the files you need, everything you need. This is really impressive. I mean, like setting all of this stuff up on your own machine is difficult, right? For a beginner to set up a whole project in Java, make sure the ID is working, that it compiles, and then figuring out how to run and actually test it, all that stuff is very complicated and will take a lot of time. And what this does is just put it here for you. I mean, that's really, really cool. I don't know how to, oh, okay, so you just create file. Yeah, okay, cool. So it, it just lets you code and literally work on a project like 10 minutes within me starting in this website. So. This is really, really awesome, guys. It's just so easy to start coding and to just, you know, start working on a side project. You can go from beginner to like actually kind of having a decent amount of experience by doing one of these projects. So that's um, very, very cool. It does look like there's only six projects though. There's only six tasks. 
but you know, do all of them and it'll take you a while. Okay, so here, like I, I, like I just mentioned, um, I, I, predicted that, I, I, I predicted that there'd be an active community and look, there's so many questions and they're all like posted today, March 9th, March 9th, March 9th. There's a very active community and this is a great thing to see. You can see that some questions are resolved, some questions are under discussion, so it's kind of like Stack Overflow, right? You just go, you can go inside, they provide you the code and then there's a place to discuss. So this is really like, um, for something that is, that might be free, they're over delivering by a crazy, crazy amount. So here, okay, so there's a free, there's a free plan. And that just, I guess that gives me like a, a limited amount of content. And then the premium plan has a plugin with IntelliJ, that's pretty cool. Um, there's all, you get all the content. And then I guess the premium pro, gives you like more analysis and like feedback. I mean, for what you can get from what I can see, the free the free tier seems pretty great. And the premium is 49 per month, that's a bit pricey, but you know, they do offer a lot. So t keep that in mind. And then there's just a regular forum, which I guess is kind of similar to help, but maybe just for general questions, not specifically about coding and maybe just like general discussion, which is uh, pretty nice to see. I mean, guys, this is, you can add people as friends, you can have, there's a little community, you can talk to people. What's activity? Is this kind of like a GitHub? Oh, it's just everyone in the app, but just an activity of everyone in the app. So look, people are doing stuff right now, earning achievements. So overall guys, I, I am um, very impressed with Coding Gym, with Code Gym, sorry, with Code Gym. Um, what I had heard about it before actually reviewing it was was very good things. You know, a, a couple of you guys have commented and, I, and, and said that it's a great resource and that you guys have used it and you want it reviewed. So, I mean, I'm very happy that you guys said that because this resource, this is an awesome, awesome resource. And there's nothing else left to say, guys. I, I would definitely recommend using Code Gym. I think the premium, uh, the premium is definitely worth it. Maybe not the premium pro, but the, the premium, um, if you stick to it, if you get all the tasks done, I think there's a lot to be learned. Uh, on this on this website for sure so guys if you enjoyed the video press the like button subscribe to the channel like i said before it's free for you and it means so much to me you, and you can always unsubscribe later if there's anything you want to add or, or you think there's anything that i missed feel free to leave a comment down below i try to reply to every single comment and as always guys enjoy your coding and have a good day